Good morning boys and girls and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host Shenra and today we are playing the Cherokee here in your Open of Salas 4 Conquest of Paradise. There's a bunch of little zero zero what the hell is it? Zero 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 native uprising. There's nobody there. But he's standing there. You're there too. And you're there too, just protecting whatever. Anywho, we are at war with this. And it's progressing. We need to kill this stack here, but I think we have it under control. And we need to stop taking attrition. That is just probably the biggest problem in the world right now. Let's um Let's get to the coast. Turn off attrition for a bit. Uh, we do need to invade the Iroquois, but Ugh, I just can't stand this attrition. It's such a pain. Buildings are finishing. Good. Oh. An available advisor. Global trade. Uh, is it really worth one ducat? Yeah, I guess. Pretty cheap to hire him. Uh, more goods. Another longhouse. Longhouse for the win. And, oh, something else? Yes. All right, more goods. Very good. In the meantime, I'm going to kill this stack. Please tell me they die. They should die. There they go. Good. Let me drop off one more moron. Oh god, here comes the stack. Get to Kanoi. <laughs> wow. Actually, they're getting attacked right now. We gotta go. 27,000 mo mofos. Wow, that is ridiculous. I wonder if I can piece any of these guys out. Because, you know... No? Concede defeat. No, they don't want peace. Alright. He is very aggressively coming on the 1st of December. I won't be there in time. Well, hang in there, Mr. Huron Man. You do have a general, so you might be okay. Oh, he changed his mind. Look at that, he changed his mind. Okay. No, that's good. You changing your mind is good, I think. I wonder where he's going with 27,000 guys. 29,000 guys. Oh my god, that's a big stack. 30,000 guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, it looks like he's coming to Susquehanna. No, he changed his mind again. Where are you going, dude? He's gonna go stand on my face. That's where he's going. Really? You're gonna abandon me? What is a Huron? No, now he's... Don't abandon me, Huron. I need your dudes. Looks like he's taking a ton of attrition. He took 3k attrition there. And something about Abnaki. Oh, I don't really care about that. Hmm. Skeptical. Oh, he keeps changing direction. This dance is not very fun, Mr. AI. You know that? Oh, you're gonna run away now. I can dig that. What day are you leaving? The 23rd. What day do I arrive? The 21st. 28th. Damn it. Will you stop this stupid dance? Look at this. He just keeps dancing. He won't stop dancing. Pain in my ass. Alright, we're finally in battle. Now we have a small bonus because he has a river crossing. We have a little bit more morale and we have a little bit more discipline. However, our backup is two weeks away, which is just not good. We could take a lot of losses here. Ow. 
Okay, there's our backup. Now we have equal numbers, and we're gonna win. Good. Still, that was pretty freaking brutal. Our Commandant has died. Can I replace him, please? Uh, reinforce speed, force limits... Uh, whatever. We actually lost more than he did in that battle. That really sucks. But, okay. And he's gonna retreat that way, probably all the way to his capital. I'm assuming. Yeah, he's still retreating. Okay. What the hell, Huron? Help me out. Huron! Oh my god, Huron, I need your help. He's just standing there with his thumb up his butt. I don't think I can attack that stack without the Huron's assistance. You guys want peace yet? Mm, no. Hmm. Huron? Come on, I had this check thing turned on. You should be helping, you jerk. Okay, he is coming. It's just, oh, he's slow to help for some reason. All right. I never really understand the mechanics of this. So, he attacks me across a river down here in Susquehanna. He attacks me across a river, and even with a river crossing penalty, we take more losses. And then I attack him without a river crossing, and we still take more losses. It seems a little silly. Anywho, I want to see if we can't squash this army if possible. They have such low morale. Arkansas is done. Come over to there. Huron, I need you with me. Why, why aren't you following me, dude? I need you right now. Oh, God, he's spreading out instead of helping. We could squish his army if you would fucking help me. You're my vassal. Do what I tell you to do, you sack of shit. No, he's not coming. Okay, now he's coming. Okay, good. Fuck it, finally. But it might be too late. Uh, no, it's okay, I guess. Alright, here we go. There's no morale. I just want his army to squish. That's all I want. Just squish, baby. Squish. Come on, squish. Why are you no squish? Back to his capital. He only lost 60 guys? Are you kidding me? How did he only lose 60 guys? And of course, he got the end of the month morale bonus. Of course. And my stupid vassal is not helping. I have no units left. I just used all of my units. And he got another end of the month bonus. Of course. <sighs> this is a real pain to fight. When my vassal, the Huron, is not attaching his army to my, to my soldiers, it really makes things difficult. Looks like he does want to finish him off, so please go ahead and kill that army for me. Oh, 
No, he's not going to chase him. Hmm. Well, I don't think I can piece you out, can I? No. But everyone else can. Just, they don't want to. Yeah, they just don't want to. Alright. It's too bad we haven't made any progress over here in, uh, in the Shawnee. I would have loved to do that. Looks like they're about to finish the siege down here, unfortunately. Alright, put the speed up. Because nothing's going to happen unless that army comes back. Which it might. Mercs? Yeah, we could do mercs. Good point. Let's get six of them and go stomp this army flat. Oh great, I just lost my progress on that siege. And it's also a level two fort now, so I can't even siege with it. I'll just go join your main army. Oh, here we go. So they are coming. Okay, good. He is actually running around me. He's going to Mun C. Weird. Colony damaged? I don't care. It's just 100 guys were lost. Yeah, it's not a big deal. And he ran away. Okay. And we're getting attacked, and my vassal is just standing here watching. Uh, this is not cool. My vassal should be helping right away, and he's just standing here. Why can't you tell your vassals what to do? He's my fucking vassal. I want him to help, and he's not. I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. We still won. But it's frustrating. I want to give my vassal orders. And he's like, doo, 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 doo. you don't control me. You know? <laughs> Alright, we still, we still won the battle. It's okay. Phew. I'm going to take my regular soldiers home. Because they need to heal up. What the hell? The Huron just stopped sieging the fucking capital over here. Are you joking? They were sieging the capital and they just stopped. Oh my god. What the hell, Huron? What kind of... Oh man, that is some severe bullshit. Alright, split up and siege. Wow. The amount of bullshit. There we go. We did get that province siege down. Go to the capital, and I can take these guys home. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't mean to get so frustrated, but it's very frustrating when it's like you have a vassal, and the whole point of a vassal is, well, you're supposed to be able to tell them what to do, but in times of war, you just can't. It's very awkward. Uh-oh, long steam save? Looks like it. Oh, man. Yeah, everything's grayed out. Oh well.
I know you're I know you're used to seeing me raging about stuff, but it really shouldn't happen. You know? I I personally feel that vassals should do whatever you want them to do. And if they're doing stuff you don't want them to do, you should be able to tell them to stop. Like, for instance, if a vassal gives military access to someone that you have on your rival list, that's a no-no. Your vassal should never give military access to someone that you have on your rival list, but they always do. They always do. Aha, it's back. I heard a noise. I heard a noise, and that means it's back. Good. Is Steam working? Yeah, it looks to be working. Let me just test real quick. Is Steam working? Yeah, looks okay. All right. Excellent. So we're just going to let our mercenaries siege up over here, and we'll do the same with these. I think we might want to go all out and just annex all these clowns, because we're at war with three of them, right? Yeah. I would love to get all this land. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll use our mercs to annex a whole bunch of shit. Uh, we only have four units, right? I think so. Your mercs. Yeah, we have four non-mercs. Ah. Uh, bring the non... No, no, leave the non-mercs there. It's fine. There's the stack. Where is he going with that? I don't know. He's running to Cayuga. And my stupid vassal is not helping. Nope, I'm caught. So I have to leave the siege over here, really? Alright, slow down. We'll meet you there, bro. Bro? 30th, okay. Alright, we're gonna leave the siege so that we can go fight this battle. I wish I could tell this guy to turn around and go help out. I guess I could turn these all off. Oh, it's kind of a pain in the butt that you have to do this, though. I mean, I'm glad that the option is there. But uh, this army, if, if I'm getting attacked, he really should be going back up to help defend. But you can't give him orders. He's your, just your vassal. You can't do any orders. Uh, anywho, let's group up down here in Cherokee. And uh, I can start using these guys to siege up uh, along the east coast. Okay, so he made it out with his life. Group up, get the mercs out. Alright, so let's see if we can't follow him. Nope, we have nobody following us, really? Oh yeah, the Hurons are just, they're just unwilling to follow for some reason. Alright, well let me swap the leader out. And, um... He is just going to stop there. Okay. And the Huron are following me. Okay, good. They are following me. Thank goodness. Go ahead and crush that stack. Uh, is this level 2 now? It's a level 2. So he's upgraded his forts to level 2. That's fine. Let me get one Merc. That'll help. And you guys can group up with a general. Nope. Don't have a general. Okay. Kill him. Lose prestige or revolt race? Well, I'll lose the prestige because we're going to get prestige for winning this war and this battle. We'll get prestige, no problem. I hope we don't get call for peace anytime soon. That would be a pain. All right, he's going to run to Mo Mohawk. Let's go ahead and follow and take him out. Okay, he's done. 
That means the enemy has no army anymore? Oh, well, no, that's not true. They still have 8k somewhere. There's 1k down there. Yeah, I really don't know where the other 8k are. Oh, well, I'm going to turn this off, and uh, we'll go back to their capital. I wonder what the cost of Vassalize is, anyway. Um, only 31% of Vassalizem. Wow. We've barely even... We've only seized one of their provinces, and they will already Vassalize. That's hilarious. Alright, let's go get some more crap sieged up. Put the speed up. I think we're okay. Okay, Mercenary Army is good. And this army, we're going to go siege. So grab them, come up this way, and then I want you to go through here. Actually, no, go through Lenape and Mahican to Pokemtuk. There you go. Oh, I can no longer go that way. Okay. Uh, go this way. There you go. Yeah, we are going to have call for peace soon, so I, I hope I hope we don't have to deal with that crap. Some general died. That's eh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'll take you out of there, though. Let me put you in this army, just in case we run into any enemies on the way. It's very possible. What? Where's my general? I thought I... I thought I took you out of there. Oh, you're in the capital. Shit. Okay, never mind. Ooh. More force limits. Okay, sure. What's my force limit now? 38. Holy crap. We have a huge force limit. Look at the Iroquois grouping up units. He is actually going to Muncie. He's going around me. Alright. I mean, it doesn't really matter where he goes, but okay. Okay, we've got Ohio. Can we vassalize you guys? That'd be great. We certainly can. Alright, so we're going to make Shawnee a vassal. Um, you can keep all your money, I don't care. Trade power? Nah. Just keep whatever. Okay. Shawnee is now our wonderful vassal. Excellent. Let's take you guys and meet up in Cayuga. Actually... Let's group up, shall we? go this way. We'll group up with this stack, turn this on, and we'll go squash that army. Oh, he's already working on it. Okay. Oh, if I don't have to do it, then I won't. Here, come over here. We can go kill these clowns. Okay, good. Group up. Go kill them. And they died. Good. Is it a level 2 or a level 1? It's a level 1, so we'll leave one guy. Everyone else move on. And let me take my regular soldiers home. Oh, Fox wants an alliance. 
I think I already have too many relationships. We're going to vassalize the Iroquois. We're going to be at four out of four. I don't think I need an alliance right now. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. You guys can come on home. Kill them. There you go. And they have no defenses there. I like it. Siege them up. This is fantastic. Alright, we got the capital. That's a big bartering chip. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Let's go help out over here. Actually, you know what? No, no, we'll just wait. There you go. Now we'll go help out over here. Oh yeah, our colony. Shit. Um, go stand in the colony. Help out. Hmm. Lower revolt risk or cheaper buildings? I think the lowered revolt risk is probably useful. We have no overextension right now, but we will have some after this war. Hmm. Fifteen thousand max. Okay, no problem. This was a really, really good war for us. I thought I might have overstepped my bounds a bit, but I think it turned out okay. All right, Connecticut is done. Goodbye, Lenape. Nice knowing you. Core it. Oh, I don't have enough points. Oh no, it's not the points. It's actually too far away. Interesting. Really? This is 73 away from our closest unblockaded core province with a port. Huh. So we're gonna have to get two more colonies done before we can core it. Alright. Fair enough. I guess we'll take a couple more douchebags down here to help out. Oh, right, the Massachusetts natives. I forgot about them. They're pretty potent. Ow. Okay, goodbye, Ottawa. as well. Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, yeah, I do have enough points. Just barely. Excellent. And then we can peace out overall. We just need 50 points. So 10 months from now, about a year from now, we can peace out. Good. But yeah, we're going to need these two colonies to core Connecticut. Damn, that kind of sucks. Oh, well. All right, Mercs go back to Arkansas. We'll need you there. Oh, rebels on my face. Peasant rebels. Ew. You know, Rook's Nation is not that bad. Nobles want privileges. Mm, it's okay. You can have some privileges or whatever. How soon until we can annex Susquehannock? Next year. Okay, good. As soon as we peace out, we'll start working for on that.
Okay, two more months. Yeah, I think it might be, might actually be more than that. I don't know. Let's see if fifty points is enough. It may be. Now I'm surprised we don't have call for peace. Hmm. So the deal is, Potawatomi will cede Arkansas, and Iroquois will become a vassal. Yep. Only cost me fifty points. Good. Can I take your trade power to, as well? Sure. All right, good. Core it. Excellent. We now have a lot of vassals. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. 1477, and we have pretty much all the strong nations vassalized. But we do need to call this an episode. Thank you guys for hanging in there. 31 minutes. That's kind of long. Sorry about that. But, um, yeah, I hope you had a good time. I'll see you next time, and have a good day.